Thank you, guest, Governor Eddie Baza Calvo. Governor, this past Saturday, President Barack Obama yeah. landed, refueled at Anderson Air Force Base. You weren't notified. A few days before that, we lost a brave, uh, a brave man. Mm -hmm. We have quite a few men, um, women in this area that have lost their lives. I wish the president would have conveyed his, yeah. his condolences and his thank to the people of Guam, through you at least. Yeah, again, Governor, I, I, I was extremely disappointed uh, when hearing of that uh, the president would be stopping for a refill, but not getting out to meet with either the troops uh, or the people of Guam. You know, we're, we're one of the most loyal people in the United States. Uh, we're a very strategic part of, of, of the United States of America. And, you know, it, as far as I'm concerned, it puts into light of what a territory is all about. We're, we're overlooked. We're important to the military. We're important strategically. But for political leaders, because we don't have any vote, uh, we're, we're almost a, a sidebar. And I think that's something we have to take into consideration as we move more forward in our political mm -hmm. self-determination. But uh, we're, I'm honored to be the governor of such a great people. Um, on Friday, I'll be welcoming back the body of, of a hero. Again, uh, specialist Calvin Pareda. Uh, he's, couple, he's younger than two of my sons. Uh, at, when I was his age, I was in college uh, trying to get through an exam. And here's a, a young man uh, that um, gave his all, his life, uh, for our island and for the nation. It's disappointing that the president couldn't have been here to give some condolence. But, but with that in mind, I'm, I'm asking the people of Guam that they put prayers for, for again, his, his mother, Rose, uh, his brothers, and their whole extended family. Pray for, for the pain that they're going through, that they can be comforted, comforted knowing uh, that we have heroes like Calvin. Um, it, that's the kind of message I would have sent to, to the president. But be that as it may, uh, we are a great people. And uh, there are folks, unfortunately, that have lived in this community such as Dave Davis that have nothing good to say about uh, our people, but we are a great people. Mm -hmm. And it's people like Calvin that I looked up to and again make me so proud to be a Chamorro, proud to be a Guamanian, and proud to be an American citizen. Governor, uh, Christmas time, <clears throat> a lot of fun with family, joyous time, but there are challenging times. Mm -hmm. People are challenged as well. There are organizations that, that you help lead up uh, in, in for those yeah. people who are challenged. You know, Jess, I just told you coming in here, you see what paradise we live in? Mm -hmm. We had the most, most beautiful sunset that no artist, human artist could ever draw. We're, a, we're in paradise, but, but it's unfortunate that there are, there are, that though we're living in paradise, there are folks there that are, that are having a lot of pain. Uh, one of my kids just told me that um, a friend of his, a classmate of his back in high school, just took his own life just a few days ago. Uh, here, this is here, this, in here in Guam. And this is something that is happening all too regularly in Guam. There are people that are hurting the, out there for whatever reasons, and that's why uh, I'm making this appeal to the public and to all of you that are hurting, that if you that if, know that you're loved. You're loved by your God, and you're loved by a lot of people out here. And there is a government here that has services that will provide assistance to you. So if there's anyone out there that is feeling a lot of pain and, and, uh, and has nowhere to look towards and, and, is, and is desperate, I'd like you please to call the crisis hotline and that number is 647-8833. Uh, there, there is also uh, other agencies for those folks that, that are being unfortunately abused in one way or the other uh, and are suffering at the hands of, of another, either a family member or someone with power over them. There are other organizations such as VARO, Victims, Victims Advocates and Rights, which, are, which is 4775552. There is Sanctuary, 4757100. And the Peace Office, which is 4779080. Uh, we're, a, we're, a, we're a special community. And for all of us that are having great times, look out, and I believe, look out for your neighbor. Be your brother's keeper. That's right. And for those of you that are suffering, uh, please, uh, if you have no one to go to, come to us. Come there, There's a government here, 
and there are people out there and there are organizations out there that are willing and ready to help you. And I'm asking every one of you there to really have a safe, happy Thanksgiving and a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. We're going to have you here before Christmas, Bill. Well, I'll be here. I'll be back. Because <laughs> I, we, we, I want to talk about def definitely Series B. Series, Series B. Yeah, about that and, and maybe hopefully hopefully there won't be any any any, any challenges with, with that. But Governor, I, I want to also, I'm sure we're going to wish, uh, I want to wish uh, Mike Villagomez, who's always in the booth. Happy Hi. birthday, Mike. Just celebrated a couple happy days birthday. ago. Happy birthday. Clarissa <laughs> Guerrero celebrated tomorrow. Uh, her birthday? Uh, her birthday. 21. Is she 21 uh, yet? Uh, I think just turning 21. <laughs> Clarissa, happy birthday. Mike, happy birthday. And also my producer in the buzz, Uncle Greg, okay? Uncle He's Greg. getting married on Saturday. Oh, my so we're gonna, goodness. So we're going to see you there. So Uncle Greg and Donna, congratulations. That's it's a 